today, today, let's talk about more bus stories. My grandkids love my bus stories and I've gotten a couple other comments and messages from people that love my bus stories. <laughs> I have a lot of bus stories. Well, I don't know if you can tell. Let me turn the camera around. Let me see. Can you see it snowing? The roads are all, let's see. Whoop, the roads are all bad and snowy. Let's see. Yeah, you can, you can kind of see that. Anyway, let's do some bus stories. You know, let, let's talk about some more bus stories. My favorite time of the year to drive is winter. I absolutely love driving in the snow. Love it. You um, do the same thing over and over and over and I was a 12 month driver for quite a, many years so I drove 12 months out of the year you know every weekday and snow was my favorite it was my absolute favorite time to drive in so one time I drove this was when I drove for uh, a public school and I had little kids on the bus I would pick up 60 some little kids and take them to school every day well this is the time of the year that the windows get foggy. All the windows on the bus get foggy. And you, there's nothing really you can do about it. They're going to fog up and it is the way it is. So, picture 60 little kids with foggy windows. What do you think they're going to do? They're going to they're gonna write on their windows. They write on the windows. So, it was alright for a while. They've been writing on the windows. And then one day, I hear... Miss Michelle, yeah, somebody wrote he loves somebody on the window. What? They're writing they love me on the window. Oh, okay, all right, you guys, and mind you, I got 60 kids behind me, and one of, they're getting mad at each other because they're writing I love you, and somebody loves somebody on the window. That started. So I thought, you know what, okay, here we go. Here's the rule. I, I made a rule on my bus because these kids would fight. They would get mad at each other and fight and bicker about writing on these daggone windows. So Miss Michelle had a rule on her bus that nobody was allowed to touch the windows. You are not allowed to write on the windows. And if you write on the windows, you're sitting in the front seat for a week. That's what we're doing so guess what it nobody wrote on the windows and it sol solved my problem it solved the problem of people writing somebody loves somebody and then there's a big argument and it solved the problem problem solved oh another time now this is when I was driving for uh, the count a different a different group of people I was Normally a bus won't slide. It, it takes a lot for a bus to slide. Buses are heavy and they don't easily slide. I've even tried to make my bus slide, you know, with kids with empty, you know, you leave the parking lot, it's the first snow and you like slam on the brakes and the bus stops. It doesn't slide. Or you try to, you know, whip the steering wheel around and try to make the bus slide a little bit. It's hard. It's really hard to get a bus to slide. So this one day I was driving and this sleet, it was raining, it was raining. And then it was getting colder and now the sleet's coming down. Now all the ice is coming down. You know, you know those ice storms that we have or sleet storms and we're doing okay on the main roads. It's okay, no, nothing bad. You know, you just take your time and you're okay. You worry more about the cars around you than anything. Well, there's, in our county, there are, out of all the streets, there's, oh, maybe two, three, four brick roads. And I've never driven on a brick road before, especially, I mean, I did. I drove on it when it was dry, no problem to drop. I had a drop off. Well, the brick road I had to go down was down a hill. So it was not just a brick road. It was a brick road on a hill. So did not know. I did not know that when bricks get ice on them they're slippery they're really 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 slippery didn't didn't know that there was a car at the bottom of the hill that was kind of off the road you know and I thought well all right so 
I went down, I started down the hill, no big deal. I'm just creeping, going slow, you know, because it's, the weather's bad. I turn on my yellow lights, flip on my yellow lights, because I have a stop. No big deal. You know, gently hit the brake, the bus starts sliding. It's sliding. Nothing I could do about that. On these brick roads, brick roads and snow don't mix, okay? So I'm sliding, 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 slide past the kid's house, and I'm thinking, oh crap, because now the bus is starting to slide sideways. And there's a big old like sign over there, and I'm thinking, oh, and the telephone poles are there, everything is there. We're sliding down the hill, here we go sideways, miss the kid's house all together. And I'm like, oh no, what do we do? Wow. And then nothing I could do. We were gonna hit something, something was gonna happen. Wouldn't you know, all of us, I get to the end of the road without hitting anything. And as soon as the bus wheels hit the pavement, the bus stopped. It just stopped. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Here we are going down the hill and we're almost sideways going down the hill. We get to the bottom at the where the intersection is, hit the pavement, bus stops. It just stopped. And then I'm thinking, oh, thank you, Jesus, we didn't hit anything. We didn't hit anything. That was a scary day. That was a scary day. One more story for you, Sam, because he likes, that's my grandson, he likes these stories. I was driving for a, it, I, it was back at, when I was doing, um, yeah public school I was back at the public school and you know how in the morning when you get up it's beautiful out after like an ice storm and the trees are just hanging with ice and it's beautiful and you know when the Sun comes up they shut it it's just beautiful 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 well it was like that one morning and it was dark it was still dark driving you know when you your headlights could see all the ice and stuff but it was dark and the sun was just about ready to start coming up well I was driving down the road again one day and just admiring I'm like how pretty is all this, this is so pretty and all of a sudden like a flash and I was only going like 20 30 miles an hour because it was you know, I wasn't going very fast so all of a sudden Bam, right in front of me was a tree that was hanging over the road. The ice was on it and it was so heavy that it was making the tree hang into the road. All the branches, not the trunk, all, all these branches are in the road hanging right at my eye level, right at my eye level. And guess what? This girl, I didn't have time to stop. I didn't have time to do anything. All, I see it because it's dark. I see it hitting the windshield and it just hit the windshield and shattered. It shattered. I thought, oh my gosh, I wonder what I broke, what headlight, what happened to the outside of my bus because it shattered. When I tell you it shattered, it, imagine like 50 limbs hanging there with ice, beautiful, hanging and you just smash, you smash right into it. Well, that's what I did. So I thought, oh crap. So I got outside the bus, I stopped, you know, parked and, you know, looked at the bus and like, nothing broke. I thought for sure, you know, the, the reds and the yellow lights, the covers, they didn't break. The windshields didn't break. The headlights didn't break. The, uh, nothing broke. It's like you couldn't even tell it happened. Well, I drove by there again because my route, I had like a double route and it went by there twice and it was daylight this time and I was able to see the tree. I had taken half the tree off that was hanging all over the road. There were branches all over the road and I thought, oh wow, that was scary. That was scary. I have a few more scary stories I've had that I've had a peacock. I'll have to tell you the story one day about the peacock that flew across my windshield. That that was funny. You know, I've had a couple things. Big turtles I've seen and just different things. So, I don't know. Stay tuned for more bus stories. And uh, have a nice day.